Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and this week on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. we finally got to meet Agent Coulson's cellist. So there were also a ton of awesome comic book references, and if you're not watching already, you should start because there are only three more episodes left in the season. Also, in case you missed my announcement earlier, I'm not doing a bonus Marvel movie video this week just because I'm starting a special Arrow countdown series tomorrow morning. Don't worry though, that doesn't mean that I'm not doing Spider-Man videos whenever that movie comes out in the United States. So let's talk some agents of playing video games. Seriously, who would not want to join that agency? Pat also will be the perfect supervisor. So, careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, but let's get started with top five moments. Here we go. Number five, Coulson tracks down Marcus Daniels, AKA Blackout from the comic books. So many awesome things about this infamous list of metahumans that they were talking about. It's really Sky that calls out the superpowers aspect of it, but pretty much everyone in that fridge is broken out. They don't go too deep into it, but a lot of those people were actual supervillains with real superpowers. Marcus Daniels just happens to be the freak of the week. So in the comic books, that character turns into the supervillain Blackout. I was actually really happy that Coulson, you know, explained the mechanism by which he got his powers. Usually shows don't go into that great of detail, but I feel like it was a good nergasm. What is it about the Marvel Universe and cosmic radiation? All I could think about was the Fantastic Four. But it was a nice payoff to the Daniels arc that gamma radiation based tech ended up being the solution. Also providing a nice opportunity for a Hulk shout out. The biggest question that I had after Daniels explained what happened to him in the fridge that they experimented on him was why? You know, why did they experiment on him? Was it just Hydra scientists conducting research like Baron Von Strucker was doing with Loki's staff? In case you missed it, at the end of Winter Soldier, Baron Von Strucker had actually been experimenting on Loki's staff. That's what he was experimenting on. It had the mind gem in it, but it's a whole other story that we can talk about it in another video sometime. On to number four, Patton Oswalt asks everyone what is in the box. Every time someone asks that question, I always get a seven flashback. I wonder if there's an outtake with one of the actors saying, there's a head, there's, there's a thing in my mystery box and it's a human head. The chair itself actually just felt like the ultimate shield geek chair, which is kind of who Patton Oswalt's character was. He was like the ultimate Nick Fury fanboy, which actually brings up a really interesting question that we can debate in the comments below. Who do you think is a bigger Nick Fury fanboy? Was it Agent Koenig or Agent Coulson? My favorite part of the interrogation scene was that Doctor Who shout out from Simmons. Perfect answer. Although I feel like a more honest answer would have been the doctor. You know, the doctor is in the box. But if she had said that, then I feel like everyone who does not watch Doctor Who wouldn't understand what she was talking about. But everyone kind of understands visually what the TARDIS is. Also be sure to let me know in the comments what would be in your box. Number three, Ward makes his move on the hard drive. So I'm actually including him speechifying his backstory in this. It makes it a little easier to put the pieces together on how he ended up with Garrett. Last week he said that Garrett rescued him from a bad situation. So I think what ended up happening was is that Garrett probably killed his parents and took Ward into training. I think the show will probably explain this in greater detail once the rest of the team figures out he's part of Hydra. I was super bummed to see Patton Oswalt die though. I totally loved his character but he will be avenged. Number two, May quits Team Coulson and tracks down Maria Hill. Kind of two big things, but really, I don't think anyone thinks that May actually quit the team. She just needs some time. But not only did we get to meet her mother, who I'm guessing was a spy for the Chinese government or the Canadian government or maybe someone else, but May is going to track down Maria Hill. Marvel actually revealed that she was coming back to the show after Winter Soldier premiere, so it's not a huge surprise. We knew next week was going to be her episode for a while. I am really curious to see how Maria Hill ends up helping Team Coulson because right now in the story she's working for Stark Industries trying to do something positive for humanity as opposed to, you know, spying on everyone in the name of global security. But really we should all just expect a ton of awesome Tony Stark jokes. And my number one moment, Amy Acker debuts as the cellist. Her part in the show was really short, but my favorite cellist moment was when she was explaining how she met Coulson in their history together. I actually expected him to reveal himself, but we can debate on whether or not he should have in the comments. If you never saw her on any other Joss Whedon show like Angel or Dollhouse, she also just starred in his movie Much Ado About Nothing, which Clark Gregg was also in. That's just an amazing movie all by itself. It's like Whedon vs Heaven, seriously. You should all watch Much Ado About Nothing. They were kind of vague on it, but that speech from Coulson at the end about telling her whenever the time was right just leaves the door open for Amy Acker to come back in the future if they do get a season two that is, but she could always come back in a movie. Amy Acker is actually a pretty notable actress, so I don't think it's out of line to expect that she might be featured in a small cameo in a movie at some point. 
But now it's your turn. Let me know, what was your favorite moment from the episode? You know, was it seeing the supervillain blackout, seeing him actually use superpowers, or was it just meeting the cellist? For me, it really was seeing the cellist. She was such a huge teaser in the Avengers movie that seeing the payoff was so much fun. I'm actually surprised that the part wasn't a lot bigger, but I think we can pass it to Tumblr to fill in the gaps with fan fiction. Overall, I gave the episode a B plus. I loved the A story, you know, the cellist Marcus Daniels story, but I felt like the B story, Ward's Hydra mission, kind of pulled the episode down a little bit. I just don't feel like Chloe Bennett was able to pull off the double agent scenes. I love her and Ward before she discovered his secret, but the way they edited that Patton Oswalt reveal and the cello scenes just didn't resonate with me. I just don't think it works as well when Skye is acting as someone who's not her own character. Like Chloe Bennett acting as Skye, acting as secret agent Skye, trying to deceive Ward. I'm not a big fan of characters acting like other characters, unless your name is Tatiana Maslany and this is Orphan Black. To be fair though, it's super hard to compete with the cellist. She's been such a long con for the Marvel Universe for so long that finally getting to meet her was such a huge payoff. And really, we've only been living with Patton Oswalt's character for one week, so I was really sad that he had to die. But his death just didn't feel like it weighed equally with her cellist scenes. I am kind of hoping that they eulogize him in some funny way whenever they try to take down Ward and Garrett though. So let me know what your final thoughts are on the episode, and big question in the comments, do you think that Coulson should have revealed himself to the cellist? So like I said, because I'm doing special extra Arrow videos starting tomorrow morning, I'm not going to be doing a bonus Marvel movie video this week, but I'm still going to do a whole bunch of Spider-Man stuff whenever that movie comes out in the US. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. Right now you can click here to get that Arrow bonus video, and you can click here to get last week's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow, high fives!